Doing a wood accent wall can be a little bit scary when you want to do it from scratch, so I'm super hyped to tell you that there is an alternative, and that's with using Reclaim Arbor. That is a peel and stick paneling. It is so easy, and I will show you just how to install it. On their site, which I've linked below, you can put the measurement of your wall into it, and it will tell you exactly how many boxes you need. To cover an eight foot by 10 foot wall, I needed four boxes. The box is super minimal and the directions are directly on it, which I love. And they also plant a tree for every single box sold and they're gonna plant 1 million trees. So if you wanna learn more about that, I also link that down below for you so you can get the full details. The color that I chose was their charcoal and that is because I wanted to do a bold accent wall in my all white laundry room. And I really loved that you could see the wood grain through it as well. They give you different design inspiration and then the directions are literally four steps. Remove it from the box, gently sand the painted wall, peel the adhesive, and stick it directly onto the wall. Sounds easy enough. My floating shelf wall is also going to be my accent wall. I just think the natural wood and the black is gonna look so gorgeous together. I won't be doing it behind the washer and dryer because I'm gonna be covering that up with a wood shelf, which I'll show later. So the first step was to sand down the wall. That's exactly what I did. I peeled the adhesive off and then I just started with a straight line so my shelf and I just shimmied it right directly up to the wood and the wall and just slammed that baby on there and it stuck perfectly. I'm doing a very basic horizontal pattern but I'm ensuring that those pieces of wood where they end when I'm starting a new row that another one doesn't end directly underneath it. I want it to look a little bit random and not so aligned if that makes sense. It'll make sense in a second. I wanted to show you guys a different alternative rather than like purchasing wood panels yourself and going that route because I know not a lot of people would do that themselves. So this is such a good alternative and if you were renting, you could even put like a poster board up or some sort and just like stick it directly onto there. That way you can remove it and not have to worry about ruining the walls if you're renting a space. I continue to stagger my wood at random and just working row by row. Um, and then the blank spaces that you're seeing, I'm gonna cut the pieces down, which you don't even need power tools for. You can use an X-Acto knife. It's actually kind of crazy because this just looks super gnarly and solid and like you can't break through it. But on contrary, my friend, anybody can do this. I put up as many pieces as possible with the length provided and then when I need to cut everything down I did that stage second and I just had to head over with my X-Acto knife, trim it, it took about three slices to get through it and then just go back and install all the missing pieces. The only cleanup you have to worry about is sweeping up the plastic little strip pieces that we peeled off earlier and then voila, you have yourself a wood accent wall. Like I said before, where you see the lack of paneling, that is where I am covering it up with wood and making just smart shelving in my laundry room, which I will show you guys when I reveal this entire space. If I didn't have to film this and just like pay attention to the fact I need to capture everything, I literally could have done this in less than three hours. That's how easy it is. And this is a pretty large wall with a decent amount of cuts that I had to make. I know this is not the norm for me for my videos, but I really wanted to show you something I'm implementing into a space in my home and it is just adding like incredible value but you can just install it yourself in the drop of a dime it's truly incredible 